So far in the class, we've focused on the Australopithecine remains from East Africa. And yet historically, actually, the earliest Australopithecine finds were from Southern Africa. And specifically, this specimen, discovered in 1924 and identified by Raymond Dart, a South African human paleontologist. What's interesting about these earliest Australopithecine finds, what Dart labeled Australopithecus africanus, or the southern ape of Africa, is that they weren't initially accepted as human ancestors. At the time, the early 1920s, there was already a good missing link between humans and apes. And it was found by English human paleontologists in England, of course. And this was what we refer to as the Piltdown Skull Man. Now, Piltdown Skull, as it turns out, was actually a forgery, matching the conceptions that people had about the missing link at the time. People viewed human intelligence as the greatest human attribute, and clearly the evolutionary trait that was most important for our evolution. And so what Piltdown, the forgery was, was actually a human skull molded to fit onto an ape jaw. So it had an ape-like dentition, but a human-like brain. This fit the conceptions again of what we expected for the missing link. But that expectation was of course wrong, and what Dart found was the opposite pattern in the Tong child. Here was a specimen that had human-like dentition, and in some cases a human-like face, but with a small ape-like brain. It was the reverse pattern of what they had seen in Piltdown Man. And so for a number of years, it wasn't accepted as a human link. And yet we now know that it is the true human link. And it reflects the fact that the evolution of the human intelligence and large human brains was a later product. It wasn't the initial product. So Dart's discovery of the Tong child, which came to have tremendous historical importance for our understanding of human evolution, it really recentered the focus on Africa also came to refocus our understanding of actually what was the proper order of events in evolutionary history. It wasn't the brain that came first. The brain was a much later product, but rather it was a change in dietary ecology, a shifted bipedality that shaped these early events in human evolutionary history. Because of its historical precedence, Australopithecus africanus was the first Australopithecine identified in the fossil record. It has major importance in how we actually under came to understand the evolution of the Australopithecines. In the lectures and exercises that follow, We'll explore this significance by looking at key fossil finds from several South African localities, including the cave sites of Sturkfontein and Swartkrans and others, which played a major role in shaping our understanding not just of Australopithecines, but of hominin variability in general.